<sighs> mm. And no, that yawn wasn't because I'm tired. Yeah, because it's late. It's because that, um... <laughs> wasn't no close call or nothing. It just took time. <laughs> Greetings and welcome back to the to uh, my ne generational Nuzlocke. So I did record something that didn't make it into the video last week, um, but all it really was was teaching Huxaluzo dig from the TM that we got from the uh, Team Rocky Grunt on the northeast side of uh, the town. So, uh, let's see here. You know what, matter of fact, why don't we look at everybody's, uh, move set here while we, uh, here. So, Jade still only got the one weak attack move and, uh, some status inducing moves. That needs, that does need to change. Hmm. No. We got Lohan. With Mega Punch and Water Gun. And I guess Poison Sting too, although that's not really a lot of damage either. And then Leer for softening up uh, his opponents. So we got Huxaluzo, which is surprisingly still a Radita, but I mean, he can't be too far off from what? From evolving. Uh, that got that Hyper Fang, that Quick Attack, two uh, very strong. Uh, normal type moves which of course Hyper Fang is the superior in terms of raw damage and then dig not only for electric types but also just as a means of going back to town and restocking in the middle of a dungeon which is going to be necessary in the future so take it and then lastly we have Kenny who still does not have a flying type move, but he does have quick attack, which uh, can throw down the damage some, so it is what it is. So, we are all, let me, let me heal real quick. We are all basically set up and good to go. We got all our affairs to go in order, and we all set and ready to go to Familiar City, but there is one last thing that we need to do before we leave this town. And I mean, we can skip it and come back to it later, but I mean, our team is about close up to enough to the max to the highest level in this gym, so I mean, why hold back? We might as well get it do done, you know, on the way instead of having to make a whole a side trip back later so let's go ahead and do this and of course since this is a water gym you know that Jade is going to uh, going to be run every running everyone's pockets and fighting all of the Pokemon herself because she's got the special stat to make absorb Put in work which of course there's also the fact that everything in this gym is weak to it but hey now i apologize if i sound kind of quiet it's late at night i don't want to wake anybody up it is what it is then again i imagine all of my um videos are a little on the quiet side so it's probably just what to be what is to be expected at this point because uh, I know I don't have the best microphone I don't have the best this that and the other I have to make do with what it with what I've got that's just what it is right. now I thought now we're not changing I thought shoulder was half ice I thought this wouldn't be super effective but it is <laughs> Maybe I'm used to later gins. I don't know what it is, but it, uh, it, it just, I guess, doesn't get ice typing until it evolves to the cloister. Maybe. 
Like, I don't really play Gen 1 Pokemon games a lot nowadays. Because, like, I, I did that when I was in high school. Because that's when it came out, you know? It'd just be like that. And, uh, yeah. I, like I said, I am old, and that's your proof, so take it. Uh, actually, I think I was in middle school when it came out, but I didn't get a hold of it until... Um, actually, I'm not entirely sure about that. That was a long time ago. I don't remember exactly. Uh, you know, come to think of it, I probably was still in high school when that came out because, uh, because reasons. Anyway, I don't know. It, it's I have, to, I have to do some looking into for that because I can't really trust my memory. <sighs> so let's just go ahead. And have an easy little wipe through all of these. Wait, oh yeah, Peck is would be super effective, but uh, <sighs> I'm not really worried. I, I might be getting a little bit worried here. <laughs> mm. Okay, yeah, I ain't got nothing to worry about that. It's all good. If they the uh, pot the third Peck right there, that might have been an issue. It would have been a, nothing more than a close call, so there is that. <sighs> Told you it was late. <laughs> All yawning and stuff. Alright, uh, trainers who want to turn pro have to have a policy about Pokemon. Um, what is your approach when you catch Pokemon? Uh lower their HP and then catch them. If you're talking about actually battling, it's hit them until they faint. <laughs> but, I don't know. I mean, like, I was about to say something about the anime, but you really can't count that. I would... I'm, I'm not gonna try to piss him off. Let's just, let's just get into this. And also, put some clothes on, please. <laughs> Dang. I don't, I don't remember P Misty uh, being in this game in a swimsuit. I don't know. So yeah, let's just uh, get this thing. defend. I guess they're not. All right. I mean, that's your money. That's your turn being wasted. That's on you. That's on you. Hmm. Well, sorry, you ain't doing nothing. But at least, uh, Star Me will be a challenge. So there is that. And don't think being the same level as it is going to change that, because it is still a beast of the way. I mean, if it can do that much damage with a normal tackle, think how much it can do with a critical hit, and a normal, I can't heal a normal tackle from it, so. I mean, again, that's your money, that's your decision, that's your time being wasted, so, you know, that's still on you. Now, you know, the big pit takeaway here is that some, uh, is that Jake's not doing as much damage with a super effective absorb on this Stormy as, as she was to other water types in this gym. <laughs> That's the big concern, but like, it's got two hits before it goes down, so and it, ain't, it ain't done a critical hit yet, so... Not a whole lot to be concerned there. No, that yawn wasn't because I'm tired. Yeah, because it's late. It's because that um, 
wasn't no close to calling or nothing. It just took time. And it was over. Oh. Well. Ah. Congratulations to Jake to making it, but, uh, now that we got the Mis Misty's, uh, badge, or, nah, we do. Uh, you, Jake's gonna end up, uh, further back in the line for a while while the rest of the team, uh, catches up. Alright, so, let me see here. Yeah, switch. Jade has to sit in the back in the wild for a while while the rest of the team catches up with her. That's just what it is when you need to uh, use a, a single Pokemon as an MVP to get through a bat, a gym. That's just how it goes. Now, this TM I got just got his bubble. And it is stronger than Water Gun, so I think we will do a replacement here. Okay, let's not just let's not do Mega Punch because I can't get that TM back, and we need that for for the damage. So, granted, that's what the Bubble Beam's for, but like it's for a different kind of damage because it uses the special stat, whereas uh, Mega Punch is the attack stat. Is what it is. Alright, well, let's go sell off these other two TMs that have weak moves in them. And then I guess just start making our way south to Vermillion. Alright. Uh, no, 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 don't buy, don't buy. Sell. Sell. Uh, and... The reason I'm not buying anything is because once we get down into Vermilion, we have access to super potions, and I'm selling all my potions uh, to get, just get as much money, money possible for those super potions because that is a much needed upgrade at this point. All well, with all my Pokemon either one level under or one level over 20, so it just is what it is. So. And the footage that I had to cut from the last episode. Uh, when we came back from Bell, this uh, police officer was standing next to the door instead of in front of it, no longer blocking our way. So we had to uh, come through this broken home, talk to this dude who said his DM got stole. And I mean, there's all the evidence in there. And then there's a grunt dude that was like right here. My character's sitting right now. Just waiting for us to come out the other side. And we beat him and we got Dig. And Huxaluzo is the only one that could learn it, even though uh, Nido King is half ground. But, I mean, it is what it is. So we got it. Huxaluzo learned it. And then I ended the video there. And the end of the video sequence, I think I did add, in, in, add into the video. You know what, actually? These this, these patches of grass I'm walking by, these are actually, this is actually a road itself, so we're just gonna slide on here and see what we can catch. I mean, I'm yawning a lot, actually, dang. Uh, uh, we already have one of those, so Duke Claws comes into effect, we can skip past this one. I'd let Kenny fight it, but he ain't got any flying type moves, so... That would just take too long. Show me something I ain't caught yet. Nope, already have one of those. Dang, I thought I was going yawning a lot before. Whew. Go. It's starting to look to me like I need to speed this up. And just get through it. Run. No, I guess I didn't have a Mankey at, any, at one point. I thought I did. Hmm. No? 
no, no, I didn't destroy. But I, I bet. Um, let's switch to Jade and have her put this thing to sleep. And put this thing to sleep. There we go. I wanna get up. I wanna go get my dice. This is looking like about that time to add another soldier to the arsenal. Uh, although he really low level, I might have to train him up. Alright, so I'm gonna start hugging these balls at him. And I hope he goes down in one because I really need to start keeping more balls on me. Uh, you know what? Actually, I know what I need to do with him being asleep at all. I know who I know who can get him get him low without killing him. Low him out, and it's awake. Uh, he might end up getting poison from this from these poison stings, but that's just is what it is. Oof. Okay. Um. Tell you what, I'll throw one ball as you are now, and if that does not work, then we're gonna bring Jade back out and put you to sleep. Oh, all right, that did it. That did it. Okay, so now we get to put a name on this guy. Sided dice. And we need a ten sided dice. And we need a six sided dice. There's our ten. There's our six. So bad. I don't know. I'm assess, but whatever. All right. Let's just get past his Pokédex, Status, nobody cares, we nicknaming him. Okay, so, call the ten cider to see how long this name's gonna be. Alright, I'm gonna default that to three. It, it, it rolled two, but I don't know about that. Uh, actually, you know what, I'm gonna see what I get for the first two digits, and if I feel it needs a third one, uh, then so be it. So let's see here. We're gonna roll a d20 for a consonant. We got three, so that's gonna be a d. And then we get to roll our d6. Four. So, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna make it an O instead of a U because it's, it sounds the same. Do. That's just what it do. That's, what's, that's just what he do. That's just who he is. He's just do. Uh, he's 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 he, he's gonna do these fights and win them for me. That's that's just how it is. That's his name. So take it. All right. Uh, we need to get him. Up to the uh, Pokemon Center in Cerulean City. Go. We go. And uh I think I'm just gonna call it there. But first, let me uh rearrange the team real quick. Oh wait, what am I doing? Get man's up here, and there we go. I'm gonna try to remember to train him off camera, but if I don't, like the last two, then he's just gonna have to come with us, uh, fight train trainer Pokemon, and just like dip it in and out of fights real quick to gain XP. I mean, and I'm gonna try to remember. I am, but uh, that's gonna do it. If you got any 
at this point in the video. It means a lot to me. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Farewell.